So let's see what we can do if we like, for example, to have uh, another uh, another uh, people. Uh, if you like to create different peoples, uh, you have just to create variation. So, for example, if you like to have different people, we can uh, create a clone. And this one can have a different material, but uh, it will be similar to the previous one. So we create uh, another people material, and this one will have some little differences over uh, the uh, the channel there. So what do you have to do if you like to change the uh, the material? You have just to take care about the various map. So this one, for example, uh, can be different just in the sides. Um, the other layers can change the face and we can have maybe uh, different sides. And the same can be done for the others. So let's say that this one is three and this one is six. And then we can rotate this one for example and we can move it there and then for example we can do something really really nice and I mean we can have another layer with the same mask and this one will be a screen again there we'll have maybe just a little bit less and we copy this one there as a copy and then we use this one oh, let's go to see this one we go to have this one something like that and we go to move it this one and maybe it can be a little bit bigger and we go to have a bigger size there for the noise but maybe it will be less and again let's go lower okay um, now we can render so as you can see we have some variation you can just manage for example parameters and colors and whatever else to have different details now I'd like to create uh, a little bit different um, people material just to show you different variation. This one will be just a little bit uh, different. So we can manage, uh, let's say, the people number two and this will become the people number three. And we can assign this one. So we can have some differences over the material so this one will be uh, more uh, reflective I mean uh, we can have to change the year to 100 so it will be more reflective we'll have a brighter a clear reflectivity so you see it is more uh, we have less glossiness and also there it will be more visible for the highlight the IRR is the same but will change a little bit also the material so we go to manage the first layer and the first layer will be maybe just a little bit uh, brighter Nothing so much, maybe 20. So uh, other things we can do is to add different details or the surface. So uh, we can go there, add a new layer, and this one needs to be moved down and it will became the first, uh, the second layer. So let's go down and let's go there okay 
This one will be again a cellular and we'll tune it to have a bigger size. We'll use the default size there. We see that this one is fractal and we have more detailing. We go to have an higher uh, spread to have, you see, uh, let's wait for the map. Uh, it is too slow, so it is better to continue with this one. And we can have this uh, this value. Maybe we can have a little bit more there. And then I like to invert this one. So we have just some details to be add over the uh, surface. Uh, then we can use this one as a screen, as we've done for all the other. So we set to screen, and this one will be used as 15. Then we can rotate a little bit both maps okay and we can make a preview inside our rendering view just to see how it is going so press render so as you can see it is a little bit different than this one uh, it is more clear so you can control the colors it has different details and it is more uh, reflective so in this case you can also change a little bit the uh, the bump to have less bumping over the surface and it will be a nice addition so uh, let's go out uh, in this case now we have uh, the three pebbles there and we can move to the next one this one so let's select both the ground zoom to uh, just the rock and then now we can work at this new shader.